It's 3.08 on um, April 16th, 2024. And I've set this up pointing at the sun this morning at 8.44 a.m. Pointing at the sun. And uh, it wasn't as good yesterday, but today it is this good at 3.08 p.m. And um, it, um, when I set it up, um, I set it up at a starting time in, in the shed. I didn't actually even look at this. And uh, this is how accurate it can be. And uh, the wooden wheel that um, times it and that turns it, I just cut it out uh, with um, a little jigsaw. So it's um, amazingly accurate. And um, I can't uh, exactly remember the numbers now, but it's something like I, I'll, I'll put the, the figures in uh, in um, on on the video, but this air pressure in here is going up by something like uh, six millimeters every ten minutes, something like that. And air pressure goes up, and this water goes uh, pushes water down, pushes water up, and and this is the timing circuit, if you will. Just this little thing. If this is tight, slows down the, excuse me, the water going uh, through the um, airlift pump. And here's the airlift pump. That's the amount of of water coming up that is moving that thing. So it's, this pulls down, that pushes up, and uh, that's all it's taking to move this um, between, uh, I shut off at six o'clock when the, when the sun goes over the house and you can't see it anymore. So it just goes from 8.15 where the sun rises over here above these houses, or sorry, 8.45 to um, about six o'clock. And this is the the speed of it. I, I just find it amazing. And then I can open this up. And that's letting water from here uh, down and into here. And I'm just going to go over to, I'll show you the effect this has. It's coming over here now. And this is how quickly it's moving it back. So it's going off of, it's no longer tracking, but I clipped this, stopped the water flowing back into the lower one. And in about 20 minutes, this will be perfectly on target again. And see how faster now uh, on the basis of, you know, it detected the the, uh, the loosening here of this. This has gotten a little looser. And air's coming much faster now. And we're pumping air up in here much quicker. So um, in about 15, 20 minutes, that will be back where it should be. Uh, and... Uh, this doesn't have to be airlift pump. Airlift pump is what I did because that's uh, what I know. But for people who can do electronics, this can be electronic and powering, uh, just turning on and off uh, a larger motor to slowly move the thing around. And yeah, so I think I'll stop ahead that. But it's working way better than I expected. I was doing uh, a thing here with uh, showing how um, gravitational vortex power works but uh, 
my little motor is about 10 years old and it burnt out so I'm, I'm going to buy a new one and uh, play with that some um, maybe next week thank you So this is my demo of equatorial mount. I have a counterweight here which isn't heavy enough. Another alternative would be one of those here on sticks going up a bit higher. So if this one would be getting this part of the sun, the other one would be getting the higher sun. And it turns uh, on this act uh, this uh, the uh, bolt here is pointing at the North Star. Well, it should be pointing at the North Star. And um, it, uh, if you turn it at a constant rate, 15 degrees per hour, it will follow, should point directly at the sun all day. So that's the reason for um, putting on the tilt, because no, any other way you do it, it won't... Um, the constant rate, uh, the rate has to be changed and constant rate you can do with all sorts of stepper motors and things and DC motors as well can do a constant rate so uh, a tilt is uh, it's called the declination of the sun and you can find that uh, pretty easily online so these are for me later um, the reason I have this like this is because I could decide to mount a solar cooker on it instead of the solar panel. And I have the 15 degree marks, which is the hour marks. So I'll be able to adjust this forward of the sun if I decide to do solar cooking on it. So um, I plan to put um, uh, a deer wheel on it here and turn it from here. But if you do it, you might prefer a solid axis, uh, axial true and some a gear wheel on the bottom to turn it and then you can have some sort of motor there. I'm not planning to use a motor. But that would probably work, might work better. Anyway, these are wheels off a, an old um, an old uh, computer chair. And uh, probably not the best thing to use if you have uh, a different type of wheel or a ball bearing probably be much better but anyway it turns pretty easily anyway uh, hopefully i'll make progress during the week thank you very much bye bye